traveling at 80 kilometers per hour, this hovercraft is the only mode of transport that can take Finnish island dwellers to the mainland. The harbors are frozen over, and with no official stations, passengers have to wait on the ice. He's the only one who hates this, the dog. <laughs> A German international ferry operator, Frode Reederei Zeituristik, came up with the idea of supplying a hovercraft during the coldest periods. Philip Ekman is responsible for the three routes run by the Germans and their Finnish partners. The hovercraft improves the quality of life for people on the islands. Before, getting to the furthest island took about an hour each way. That means it would take two hours a day to go shopping or visit the doctor. But traveling by hovercraft takes just 15 minutes. The captain usually steers a car ferry, so he needed some time to adjust. The challenge with this is the wind, yeah. I mean it's uh, dark and snowing, the navigation is a big problem. Okay. Of course this is quite fast and the GPS are quite slow, so, so you, can be, you have to be careful. When the engine is started, the hovercraft rises a few centimeters into the air. Then it moves on a cushion of air, allowing it to travel above both ice and water. It takes some getting used to, for everyone. Oh yeah, in the beginning it was a little bit uh, afraid of it, but uh, now it's okay. Traveling on foot is extremely dangerous, since the Baltic Sea isn't equally frozen over everywhere. The hovercraft stops at 11 islands, but passengers have to call ahead to be picked up. The service is free of charge, with the costs covered by the Finnish government. For the ferry operator, it's a regular line item in the budget, but it won't say how much. The fact that car ferries can't run in winter is especially hard on the small businesses on the islands. This dairy farm is one of them. Ekman speaks the islanders' language and tries to help them find solutions. Here in Finland, we have to know our customers because we ensure they have enough supplies. Very few people live on the islands. We have to stay in contact so that we can react quickly and effectively when problems arise. The particularly cold winters of the past few years have left the dairy farm facing mainly logistical problems. If they have a, a, such a big uh, hovercraft, they could take a milk truck. <laughs> and that's okay <laughs> then, but I, I'm afraid that, that those big hovercrafts aren't, aren't available here. The hovercraft costs 120,000 euros, less expensive than most ferries. In the evening, the captain does a post run during his final journey. It's just before sundown, and Captain Yari Hietela can go home. He'll be out on the ice again tomorrow morning to collect school children from the islands and take them safely to the mainland.